I just told the property manager, just don't come out here and do because you know Channel 7 came out here. 7 News on your side getting results for residents at an apartment complex in Northeast. The D.C. Housing Authority is working to fix several issues that we first told you about last week. Good evening, I'm Scott Thuman. After our report aired, the agency is now outlining steps they're taking to help residents with pests and potential mold. Our Carl Willis has an update to the story you saw first, only on 7 News. Yeah, we are back here at the Lankford Terrace Apartments a few days after first telling you about some of the conditions in some of the units here last Friday. Well, today, D.C. Housing Authority has a crew already working to fix some of those issues, but city advocates say the whole process needs to be addressed. A work crew from D.C.H.A. on the job for Langston Terrace resident Thomas Laux. As soon as they hit the newspaper on Friday, I mean, hit the TV on Friday, then they start doing the work. They're fixing the holes in his walls to fend off rodents. A welcome turn of events for Lox and for Pastor Tony Herndon, who alerted 7 News about the potentially hazardous living conditions. And it shows me that when they are working together with the tenants, they can get the job done. He says elected officials should match this responsiveness in the future, saying he's only received a call about this from at-large council member Robert White, who saw the initial seven on your side report. The only uh, contact that we had was with DCHA, and we were able to talk to them, but that doesn't stop with them. Wednesday, the DC Housing Authority told 7 News they've contacted a contractor to test the areas in question for mold and have made multiple repairs and carried out several pest control treatments over the past few months in certain units. They also say they've chosen four pest control vendors to help. They write, by utilizing these vendors, in addition to our internal pest control staff, starting in June, all public housing units will receive pest control treatments at least once a month and more frequently if more extensive treatment is warranted. President Corey Campbell noticed the response from DCHA Wednesday and says she hopes to see more engagement from management. Well, I just told the property manager, just don't come out here and do because you know Channel 7 came out here. Campbell also tells me part of the responsibility falls on the tenants to maintain their apartments and to get their complaints in through the proper channels. You want to live better and be treated better, we have to come out and fight. We have to let our voices be heard. In Northeast Washington, Carl Willis, 7 News.